telling a tale today about the Oak King and the Holly King. I came out to a familiar forest, which I really like because it's quiet and the birds are singing and behind me is a tree and another tree has fallen on top of this tree. And the tree is really strong. And part of what I work with is how our relation to nature is through stories and it's through um, our sense of belonging as a species at one with all the other species. So coming from Wales and be a Celtic lady, I am um, I've grown up with lots of mythologies and storytelling and I've always loved mythologies because in the past mythology and folklore were a way of us to relate to the seasons and to relate to life being human with other life. In the past we revered certain gods in different cultures and we revered certain figures. Nowadays we revere lots of celebrities because it's, we need something to idolize. So our idols have very much changed from what they used to be but the stories and the old tales, the folklores, um, the legends they really help us to identify with the natural world and see ourselves as part of that and when I come out to the trees I see the trees but I imagine and I feel all the little creatures that are out here that I might not be able to see lives and worlds beyond what I am experiencing in my own world right now so we're approaching solstice it's the 10th of December it's cold but it's blue sky it's beautiful and uh, I'm looking forward to the shortest day because this is the shortest hours of daylight. The solstices are two really important parts of the year because they were the turning and solstice means sun standing still so at the winter solstice the sun will reach its lower point on the horizon and it will literally stand still although it appears to be that way uh, about December the 25th it starts rising a degree north and uh, this was very important for people in the past because they revered the return of the sun, the sun's strength in their lives. This meant things would grow and they could have food. And it was, you know, you want to feel warm, don't you? And you want to feel that light around you. So part of the tradition, uh, Celtic stories that I would read was that there was this figure called a holly king. And this, this figure would be reigning from summer solstice uh, to winter solstice when the days were getting darker. And this figure was a bit like, you know, I th we think we maybe where Father Christmas came from because bearded and had white stags, you know, and we think maybe now Father Christmas with the deer is, uh, has come from this figure. And this figure is raining over to the winter solstice and then his reign, he will go back to the underworld and the reign will be taken over by the Oak King. And the Oak King will come and preside over the lights apart, seeing us through to the summer solstice when the next change happens. And it's thought that the Oak King again was very, you know, these very figures that would blend into the environment and be very nature and very of the creatures of the trees. And it's thought that the green man and Hearn the hunter came from the Oak King. And uh, I like that thought that you'd be in the woods and there'd be a guardian of the woods, somebody to watch over the trees. It's thought that dryads, tree shepherds, watch over the trees. And uh, in my own life I have experienced this quite strongly, the, uh, the guardians of the woods, the trees themselves are very protective of each other and they look after you as well. These stories relate us to nature and they harmonize us in a way that is beyond the physical and goes into the metaphysical and the spiritual and our heritage as human beings upon the earth which it's so vital for us as spiritual beings that it's uh, we'll always need something to idolize or have faith in but maybe the faith can be that we are here on earth and that there is so much that we don't see or we can't see through the senses that is there underlying everything protecting us watching over us and I like the thought of, of there being these great figures that can rain on in our imaginations taking us through so coming towards the solstice where the sun stands still and the holly king will be taken over by the oak king take us into the lighter part of the year again which we all all life on earth feels in our hearts so coming to solstice i wish you may solstice for those of you who are local to me i'm running a walk next week which will tell the tales of our seasons of nature of trees and plants and you can find details on my website and uh, i do run lots of events so you can Find each of them on my website, Awaken Nature Healing. And uh, I wish you a very happy solstice.